Hi, I'm Charlie Bruner, and I serve as co-leader of the Health Equity and Young Children Initiative of the Child and Family Policy Center. Our work is built upon a strong research base of science and exemplary practice to show that we can reduce health disparities and improve healthy development on a community, state, and national level. Moreover, doing so represents one of the best investments society can make with high returns on investment and healthier child development, greater success in school, and greater contributions as adults to community and economy. Thanks to growing research, society has a much greater understanding of the critical importance of the first years of life to lifelong health and development. The parent science, the research on protective factors, adverse childhood experiences, resiliency, epigenetics, neurobiology, toxic stress, and social determinants of health all show not only the foundational role of the first years of life to lifelong health, but also the crucial role that parents and families play. The science also is clear that the safety, stability, and nurturing in the home environment is absolutely foundational to healthy development in the child, the child's physical, cognitive, social, emotional, and behavioral development. Also, through an array of primary health care practices, we know we can improve the child's trajectory of health through expanding the role of the child health practitioner in responding to and strengthening the home environment. This initiative is drawn from the research on effective primary care as embodied in Bright Futures and a number of exemplary child health programs to show that the gains produced by those programs and this response have lifelong benefits to the child, to communities, and to society. Children are not drivers of healthcare costs today, but their healthy development is critical to reducing the prevalence of preventable health conditions as adults that drive so much of society's healthcare costs. This has led economists, including Nobel laureate James Hepburn, to conclude that, quote, we must invest in the very young, unquote. It is not whether we can afford to make such investments, it is that we cannot afford not to. Our children's healthy future and society's future depend upon it.